Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a little bit different video for you. Uh, I actually 3D printed a UMX Timber and I went through a whole bunch of design changes, whole bunch of crashes, a lot of PLA, and I wanted to show you guys the process that I went through to actually get a successful flying uh, UMX Timber. So uh, check this out. So building this airplane, I definitely went through just basically a trial and error process and just uh, built some planes, went out and test flew them, crashed them, and went back to the drawing board and kept drawing some more and changing different designs. So uh, I used Fusion 360 to draw all this out. I basically just started off with the wing. I didn't really know anything about uh, drawing in CAD. I hadn't really drawn in CAD at all before this. So definitely watching these screen recordings back again after a while, I definitely see some parts I could have made a lot easier on myself to draw. And uh, basically just, you know, section the airplane out in different parts and just kind of drew each part individually, uh, kind of rather than drawing the entire airplane and cutting it up into sections. So after lots of time drawing in CAD, I finally have all the parts I need printed out to start assembling this and start getting with my first prototype. So like I said, this plane's pretty easy to assemble. I just gotta glue it all together. Uh, and then I made a battery tray that holds the two servos for the rudder and the elevator uh, that slides into the fuselage and into the nose piece. Here is the motor mount. So you just glue this in to the nose piece and then I just glue this in to the rear part of the fuselage. So when I was first designing this airplane, I designed it with flaps and ailerons. And then, uh, so I just, you know, because I designed it like that, it was just easier for me right there to tape them. So I just taped uh, those flaps and ailerons on. Then after this flight, I actually just changed it into a three channel airplane. So I can just fly it off three channel with, that way it saves some weight on the wing for now. Hey guys, so after the uh, first attempt with the 3D printed uh, plane, got a little problems with the uh, CG. It's kind of a little bit too far aft, and so it's uh, just pitching up really hard. And uh, so I'll have to adjust the CG a little bit and uh, go ahead and reprint it. So after the first attempt, I just adjusted the angle of the wing. So the angle of the main wing was a little bit off, so I changed that. And then I also changed the battery tray. And I also changed it, like I said, from a flap and ailerons on the wings just to a three channel airplane so I just made one solid wing. Uh, here's the new battery tray so I adjusted a little bit where the motor mount is at and I also adjusted where the servos are located they're kind of uh, mounted in there together rather than separately and I also moved them a little bit closer to the front to adjust the CG a little bit. second attempt for the uh, 3D printed timber. So as you can see there, the second attempt was not very good. So I came back to the drawing board again. I, I uh, adjusted the wing a little bit. So I changed the rib design inside the wing a little bit. Just uh, glued the wing and uh, replaced the prop. We're gonna go ahead and try it again.
broke the wing off again. So after having quite a few failed attempts at hand launching, I decided to put some landing gear on there and uh, hopefully have a little bit better luck. So I first set of landing gear I made, uh, just made a pretty simple set of landing gear, uh, no structure between the two gear. Uh, and that definitely didn't work. This is the test for that. It just squat down really good. So what I did was just added a cross beam there to kind of hold it together. So I reprinted out the wings and uh, made a little bit different rib design to make the wings a little stronger. And I also added landing gear on there and with the same tires that the DMX Timber has on there. <laughs> well, I just crashed the first 3D printed plane, uh, broke into a whole bunch of pieces. I uh, just was coming around, uh, just a little different flying three channel than like four channel with ailerons and stuff, and it just kind of got a little slow, and I think I just stalled it, and it just came down and crashed. So you can see it crash into a whole bunch of pieces. It actually flew pretty good. Uh, it's like, yeah, the wings are all broken. Spar, there's the spar, and uh, yeah, there's the wing, the fuselage cracked in half. Looks like the nose piece is still intact. That just came off. The prop broke. Here's the prop dug into the ground. So we're gonna go back and print all this out. Uh, I think that now that we had it fly, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to print a four channel one now. This is a three channel just with the rudder and the elevator, and I'm gonna try to print it with uh, ailerons and the wings uh, with no flaps and try that. Okay, we're getting a little bit closer to a uh, good flying plane, so uh, we'll try to add some ailerons to it. Like I said, we're going to just use the same profile that I had for the other wing. Uh, the rib structure on the inside of the wing worked pretty good. And I'll add some ailerons. I'll add a little control horn here to make it easy to hook up to the servos. Uh, and then there's like a little hole in the wing that the servos just fit right into. And I uh, will go ahead and print all this stuff out. Okay, here's the four channel airplane with the ailerons and the wings and everything looks pretty good except for I couldn't get off the ground right there and I broke the landing gear so we're gonna just hand launch it. Oh, wrecked the 3 printed plane again. So after the last flight, just did a couple adjustments to it. Uh, one thing is the landing gear broke before I was able to take off last time. So I changed the thickness. So that way there are three layers on the outer wall. The motor actually ended up coming out of the motor mount. I might be able to repair this one. Didn't actually break too bad. Broke the wing off of the fuselage, but I should be able to glue that back together. Uh, maybe just do a little patch here on the front wing, um, and the rest of the plane looks still pretty good. This is like plane number five or something. I've lost count at this point. I just took a piece of plastic out of that red plane that I had and just glued it in there to fix that. 
uh, and I fixed the landing gear a little bit, that cracked a little bit, and then the motor came out last time, so I just put a new set screw in there and tightened the motor back in there, put the prop back on, put a new prop adapter on there, and now let's go ahead and try to fly it. You guys had the first uh, kind of successful landing with the uh, timber. It was a little, uh, not the best landing, but uh, it had to, came down a little hard on the landing gear. It snapped the uh, the strut again uh, here, so it's definitely something I gotta uh, reinforce. I think I'm gonna make that thicker, uh, more strong, so that way it can take the beating of a little bit of a bounce on the landing. No major crashes, uh, everything held together pretty good except for the landing gear. So we've got to go back and uh, redesign the landing gear a little bit. Well, there we go. We got a nice flying UMX timber. So I just got to uh, reprint this out. I reprinted it out in white for the final color and I fixed the landing gear. I uh, made way stronger landing gear that held up a lot better now. And I uh, added some decals to it, added some nice uh, stripes on the bottom of the wing. And uh, this plane turned out really good and it flies good now. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys like other 3D printed videos, check out my YouTube channel. I got lots of 3D printed airplanes on there. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next build.